be bold faced wrong about the situation and just sitting there like, oh, okay, and so get over it. You're trying to flip that on him and make him seem like he's, he just woke up this morning and he was insecure. No, what you did caused that insecurity. He trusted you until you showed him you could not be trusted. And now that he's trying to forgive you and he's trying to heal, you go and do something else and think that that's not going to open up the wound of what you did the last time. You're not giving him the opportunity to fully heal from what you did before. Look, if somebody gives you the gift of forgiveness, which is hard for a lot of us, and then you can't even respect them enough to do the work it takes to earn that trust back, you don't deserve him, baby. You don't. He wouldn't deserve you if he was doing that to you. I hope you come to your senses before you lose a good person. I know exactly what she's talking about, right? She's talking about the type of person who uh, like to play the fool every time they get into a situation that they put themselves in, right? So this goes for, uh, like, like she said, we're just using this for an example, um, temptation, right? Maybe a, a woman was moving flirtatious. He said he didn't like it. You know, she embarrassed him or whatever. They go out and she does it again. And he's like, well, I'm mad. And I'm not only mad from today, I'm mad from before as well. And she's like, well, why don't you just get over it? There are people who are wrongdoers and who will not take accountability and who will not wait for you to get over something. And it's so ironic that the person who usually is the wrongdoer, the person who does something wrong is always the quickest one to get over the situation. Like, how does that make sense? You're the person who hurt somebody else and you get over it quick because you're the one who inflicted the pain. You're not the person who felt the pain. And so since you're the person who um, inflicted the pain, you just feel like, okay, well, that it, it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that rough. Just get over it. And the other person is like, no, I need time. You can't force someone to think the way that you think. You can't force your emotions on somebody else. And I completely agree with what she said. If you cannot respect that that person needs time, if you can't respect their healing process, if you can't wait it out, if you don't think that that person is deserving of uh, you trying your best and you trying every effort and you doing whatever it you can to fix the situation, then maybe that means that you need to get out of that situation because maybe you're over it. Maybe the truth is you don't want to do it anymore. Maybe one of the reasons why you want that person to just get over it and just move on is because you don't want a constant reminder of your shortcomings or wrongdoings. And so you just want to be in the space that the two of you can have fun with each other. Can you can take your eyes off of the problems that you cause or the havoc that you cause and you guys can just get back to enjoying life. And that's the problem. Because if you're at a person who is committed to being the best version of themselves and is committing to helping you being the best version of yourself, then it's not going to be a compatible relationship for you to stay over some stay in a relationship with somebody who does not want to sweep things under the rug. Maybe you need to go get somebody else. Okay, you need to take your broom and dustpan and go be with somebody else. I got a broom and a dustpan who likes to sweep things under the rug because People who actually deal with issues are going to stay in the thick of it. They're going to not only be apologetic, but they're going to exude changed behavior as well. But a lot of y'all be, be loud or wrong. Okay, be wrong. Be bold faced wrong about the situation and just sitting there like, oh, okay, and so get over it. And what else? What else do you want me to do? And it's like, so this is your behavior after you treated me a certain way? And this is something that a lot of women do. They walk around like, oh, he always tripping. You know, he is so insecure and he is so this and he's so that. But girl, y'all be telling 20% of the story. Having your homegirls walking around like, oh, why he acting like that? Girl, he sound like a narcissist. Uh-uh. You need to be with somebody else who really love you because he's tripping all the time. Why is he always tripping? And you never talk about the fact that you always tripping. 
You never talk about the fact that you started it. You never talk about the fact that he's always chill and you always causing havoc when nobody around. You tell the little percentage of the story that makes you feel good, run with that, and then turn around and be like, while well, everybody's bashing him and be like, uh-huh, yeah, exactly. You're right, I do deserve better. No, you don't. You deserve worse. You deserve somebody who's going to be toxic with you and, and feed into the story, and you need to leave this good man to go be with somebody else that can rise to the occasion. Because a lot of y'all get with a good man and can't rise to the occasion. And then try to turn him toxic. And when that don't work, you be like, oh, yeah, it just wasn't meant to be. Because he was tripping. He was not it. Girl, he was always. You were the problem. Just you. Just your actions. Just your uh, inability to be accountable. Just your inability to apologize. Just your selfishness. Just that. Nothing else. And I love what she said at the end of the video. You know, the reason why we, I personally, and I could see she as well, have these kind of conversations is because if you want better, we're trying to show you ways to get there. Right? But the people who, you know, got it together, got their marriages and all that kind of stuff, you, you don't, everybody can learn from somebody, but these are from the people who are trying to get it together, who maybe didn't have the tools, who maybe don't understand, who maybe don't know. And... Maybe this will save you the headaches, the drama, the problems. Because if you really want to be with somebody, if you really want to be married, if you really want that long-term commitment from someone, if you really want that whole family structure, then some of it is going to cause for some change behavior. And it may not feel good all the time when you hear it, but it doesn't mean it's not true. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you.